Now there is a problem of mensuration where the three points lie at a distance of 3 cm from each other. So this would become an equilateral triangle. Let us say the vertices are A, B and C. Now the fourth point is at a distance of 2.5 cm from each of the three points. Now this point will not be in the same plane. The figure which could be formed by joining these three vertices with the fourth point would be named as a tetrahedron. It will become a pyramid. So let us say the fourth point is D. So you know that if I want to find out the surface area of a pyramid, I need to know the base area plus the lateral surface area. So my base area would be simple that is the area of an equilateral triangle which would be root 3 by 4 into side square and side is your 3 so 3 square plus your little surface area for a pyramid is half perimeter of base multiplied with the slant height. So if you calculate the uh, total surface area which is 9 root 3 by 4 plus half into the perimeter of base which is 3 plus 3 plus 3 that is 9 into the slant height. Now for the slant height what you can do is use any of the triangle let us say if I use B C D. Remember that BD, DC these are not the slant height. Remember the slant height is the height on the slant surface. So let us say what I mean by this is if I use the point D and drop a perpendicular. Let us say this meet at point D. So your DE is your slant height. Now what is BD? That is 2.5. What is DC also? That is 2.5. What is BC? That is 3. So when you drop a perpendicular in isosceles triangle, so BE would come out to be 1.5 and BEC will come out to be also 1.5. So my DE length if you solve with the Pythagoras will come out to be 2. So my little surface area would be, let us multiply now with the slant height that is 2. So 9 plus 9 root 3 by 4 would be the correct answer. And which is if I look over here, option number A.